is some unusual noise coming out from your bike you will definitely look at it and uh, later found out that there is something which has been broken inside so if in case you are a new viewer or you have forgotten who i am this is Prajesh here and you have been tuned into bullet diaries from bangalore let's get started so yeah guys namaste assalamu alaikum sanchri akal vanakkam namaskaram namaskara this is the royal enfield tip of the week and if you guys are wondering that uh, why i am riding a moped it's nothing because uh, i thought that let me take this small moped for a ride yep i'm going to a place to meet someone and uh, this is uh, the tvs jupiter <laughs> it really feels funny when I throttle and this goes like that and <laughs> So yeah As I mentioned in the beginning There was, uh, see you guys know that uh, Every other day I clean my bike I, I, I actually use the cloth and wipe off all the dust particles which are there and uh, if necessary only i apply the polish so when i was doing that uh, wiping off the dust from my bike i found out that uh, there was a little bit of shake or i can say some kind of unusual shakiness on the air filter side yeah that is on the right hand side and uh, initially i thought that there might be some kind of uh, screw loose or anything like that but when I spoke to Vijay from House of Bulls, I came to find out that the clamp has been broken and uh, the next remedy, there were two choices, either to change the whole clamp set or that box set or uh, to do a simple welding out there. So what I've done is, I removed the whole assembly, that's a small box, actually it is uh, mainly for the aesthetic appearance that boxes so that it will look identical which on the other side is having a battery cover and on the classics it is basically it's an oval shape and uh, on the Electra and the standard it is in the shape of that same box which is there on the left hand side so yeah I told him to remove it and there was a welding shop where I usually do all my welding and other works. So I went there and uh, this is how it was looking like when it was broken. And uh, I had done the welding. Yeah. And the welding costed me hardly around uh, 50 rupees. Which may depend according to the places. According to the city where you are going to weld it. So once the welding was done, then I came back and uh, I fixed the box again, the back, the cover, which is there on the extension. And now you can see that there is no shake or anything on the box. So this was a small tip, but usually remember that whenever you are doing any wiping or anything like that, if you feel that some part is loose or some part is uh, not uh, as per the stock condition do not wait for more time because it might get worse and there are always a chance that uh, that thing can fall down when you are riding your bike and uh, yeah uh, the one thing to be mentioned is this has not happened because of the vibrations of the bike it had mainly happened because of the potholes which is there in our city especially in India unfortunately and due to that there are sudden jerks and sudden um, I can say shocks which are there on the part of the bike and there are chances that after a particular point of time these things can start shaking and maybe it can break off like what has happened to my bike 
Now guys, that was a short video regarding the Royal Enfield tip of the week and uh, hopefully those who are having their Royal Enfield bikes might have got benefited out of it. If at all these things, these problems you have faced and uh, these kind of things you have faced and found out that you have solved it, then definitely hit the thumbs up button and uh, yeah. If in case you are a new subscriber or you are a new viewer, definitely, definitely you should go to other videos of mine and uh, by any chance you think that let's give him a subscribe and see what videos I'm gonna put in the future, then hit the subscribe button as well. So that's all guys, I'm signing off. Do mention in the comment section that what other topics you want me to cover. I'll be doing videos uh, on a regular basis from now, most probably because uh, See, I'm a family man, you also know that I have a small kid at home, so it's a little bit of difficult for me, but it's not impossible though. So have patience, keep supporting and share this video if at all you think that other people might get benefited out of it. Yeah? Thanks a lot and take care. This is Bullet Diaries signing off. Bye-bye.